What if I told you there's a resource so powerful it allows us to live longer, prevent chronic illness, and age like fine wine? Bet you want to know what it is, don't you? You already know it. You just don't realize it yet. And you don't value it enough. So let me paint the picture for you. You've had a busy day at work, errands, meetings, family stuff, yada yada. Life is lifing. So you go home early, you get in the bed, you try to ease your mind. But it happens. The mental marathon, the battleground. But it's not a one and done. It's a chronic issue that affects our health, our productivity, and yes, sometimes even our relationships. Is it okay if I get a little personal with you? When I was in college, I had hepatitis A. I was very sick. It was a struggle. But it was during my recovery, I learned about this one thing and it led me down the path to becoming the naturopathic physician that I am today. It's this one thing that I realized is the nutrition for our soul, our body, and our mind. It's this one thing that builds up the chronic stress hormones the very next day. And that, my friends, are the building blocks to chronic illness. So if I can, I'm going to dash through five key ways this mystery thing affects our health, okay? Number one, I cannot express this enough. This is your mental health best friend. It literally helps your brain detox, reorganize, and hit that refresh button. Think of it like your own personal cleanup crew where it clears the brain of this toxic protein called beta amyloid, and that is associated with Alzheimer's disease. It would be like missing trash pickup day, and we all know that pileup can be disastrous. It ramps up these harmful inflammation and stress hormones called cortisol, and the ripple effect, anxiety, depression, irritability, and a host of other chronic illnesses. Number two, if you're a man and you're not getting the recommended standard for this, your testosterone looks like someone 10 years older than you. Now, I'm not just talking about not getting that certain someone. I'm talking about decreased fertility. Number three. Now, this is incredible. It actually helps to stabilize your blood sugar levels because it regulates three hormones, insulin, leptin, ghrelin. The latter two help to regulate your appetite. So if you're trying to prevent the precursor to type 2 diabetes, this is the habit for you. Number four, when we're tucked in and we're resting, our body is busy. It's manufacturing infection-fighting agents called natural killer cells. Those not only help to fight the common cold, they're helping to shield us from other ailments as well. By the way, the World Health Organization classifies anything that disrupts this as a probable carcinogen. And y'all, that means it causes cancer. Most common, bowel, prostate, and breast. Now, I know you're dying to know what I'm talking about because I can't wait to tell you, so drum roll, please. We're talking about sleep. Sleep is so critical, and we are neglecting it and taking it for granted. Now, if you're paying attention, I know I told you I would give you five. So number five, high blood pressure. When we're at sleep, we decrease our heart rate and our blood pressure. If we're not getting at least six hours, we increase our risk, our, we have a 200% increased risk factor of developing a fatal heart attack or stroke in our lifetime. 1.6 billion people go through daylight savings time twice a year. So in the springtime, when we lose that hour, we see a 24% increase in heart attacks the very next day. Imagine it's like a mini checkup for your heart that automatically happens every single night. Sleep is so crucial for helping to regulate our blood pressure and also preventing other cardiovascular issues. We do a doggone good job of plugging our phone in when the battery's low and we wait for it to fully charge. Sleep does the same for our body. 
and our natural battery, our heart. Now, y'all, I'm not just talking about good sleep. I'm talking about quality sleep. Quality sleep is three things. Number one, restoration. Are you waking up feeling rested? Number two, duration. The amount of sleep you, you get matters. Number three, uninterrupted sleep. Are you waking up several times having to go to the bathroom? Is your partner snoring so loud that they're waking you up? Now, I know I just opened up Pandora's box on many different fronts, so let me help you with the fit. I love acronyms. So here's a simple one for you. REST. R-E-S-T. The R in REST is for ready. For paint people, create a ritual and just stick to it. Set a bedtime. Maybe you sip on some chamomile tea. Do some light stretches, warm bath or shower. This tells your body, hey, I'm ready for bedtime. You can do some gratitude journaling, meditation, prayer. As your room fills with essential oils, as we know that this helps with relaxation, like lavender, neroli, or langley. The E in rest is for environment. Your bedroom is your sanctuary. It should be quiet and tidy, only used for sleep and sex. Ditch those electronics at least an hour before bedtime. I'm talking about your TV, your computer, your cell phone. They all emit blue light and they increase your alertness and they fragment our sleep. No clutter under the bed, because that clutters your mind. You want your room to be dark. So think of blackout curtains if you have to, because light can interrupt your sleep. And if noise interrupts you, then you want to get ear earplugs or white noise. And think about light and airy colors for the wall and the bedding, because this promotes relaxation and keeps your room cool. The S and rest is for sleep. We're aiming for seven to nine hours. Remember, duration is part of quality. This is the time when your body's in maintenance. It's repairing tears and doing those five key things that we just talked about. So the sweet spot would be to be asleep between the hours of 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. This is when your body naturally makes melatonin. That, my friends, is the master hormone of the immune system. You know, that part that actually keeps us healthy. The T in rest is for track. Data can be your sleep's best friend. So you could write it on a piece of paper, make spreadsheets if you want to, and if that works for you. However, now we have rings, watches, bracelets, and all kinds of fancy gadgets. It's not just about choosing a sleep tracker, though. It's about using the sleep tracker. So folks, if you want to age gracefully, prevent chronic illness, and live longer, I can't stress this enough. Sleep is the one thing that you need to do. Make it a priority and not an afterthought. Thank you, and may the rest be with you.